Hello everyone. My throat is giving out, but I've got two more of these to record. And you can tell it's on a different day because... Oh wait. It's not. Time travel does not exist. I'm recording all of these at once because efficiency! I've got this one and another one I wanted to get done tonight. Uh, this is What The Fact. Frequently asked questions related to the channel or technology that I get all the time that I don't want to type out answers in the comments to, so I'm going to answer them here for you and just reference the videos. So today we are talking about a couple questions here. Why so many tabs in Chrome? And what camera and microphone do I use? Both of these questions always astound me that I'm expected to answer them. Why so many Chrome tabs? Why do you have so many cabinets in your kitchen? Why do you have so many drawers in your dresser? Why do you have so many hangers in your closet? Because I use them? Like, if you took a look at any of the tabs, in most cases when the text isn't cut off, you can see that they're different websites. It's not like I just have a bunch of new tabs open and over and over and over. I queue up a ton of videos because the YouTube subscription box is trash, and I'd much rather just keep it an active open tab list of the videos I have to watch. After the first couple months of getting like non-stop assaulted with questions about how many tabs I have, I actually spent probably three hours completely rehauling my bookmark system in Chrome and trying to work from bookmarks. But bookmarks are so freaking obnoxious to use for like regularly opening and deleting them and things like that, that I tried making a watch list of all the open video tabs that I had at that night, which was a lot. I've still never gone back through and watched all those videos because it was so obnoxious to open the video in a new tab and then delete that bookmark. It just doesn't work. What you also don't see behind the scenes is all the bookmarks that I have and I use Google Keep religiously. That's even what I'm using for my questions here. And I have tons of stuff, video ideas, links to websites for projects, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of posts in there that you don't see because that stuff's hidden behind the scenes. But I keep a lot of information handy because I consume a lot of media. I do a lot of work. I'm constantly doing a lot of stuff. The world doesn't stop when I record videos, so I just open a new tab. As long as there's nothing sensitive in the headers of the other tabs, I leave them open because it saves me time. Uses a hell of a lot of, a hell of, a lot of RAM. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in my in my machine, and I'm always penny, pegging it like to maximum use because of how much Chrome. I also have a ton of Chrome extensions. So between the extensions and the tabs, and the fact that one of the extensions uses up a lot of RAM specifically for YouTube, and I usually have a ton of YouTube tabs open, I use up a lot. But I'm a power user. That's what I do. Again, why 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 does someone in their garage have so many tools? Because they use them at some point. What was the other one? Oh yeah. What camera and mic do I use? Always a little annoying to answer, but I, I, I'm i hoping, I, I've been wanting to find a way to more easily answer this without having to like write in the description which camera I use every time. Because the issue is I have like five or six cameras that I could be using at any point. My main camera for the longest time was my Canon EOS Rebel T3i or 600D. It's a DSLR. But I've recently switched to a dual camcorder setup and in this video, and most of this, the first few videos in this series specifically, I'm actually using an Epifan video broadcast conferencing camera as my main camera. I still have the camcorder up here for when I'm doing unboxings, but otherwise I'm using two Canon Vixia camcorders. Uh, I have a C920E, or C920, C920C, and C930E webcam that I use for my face cams. I have a Canon point and shoot that I sometimes use for my face cams. I was using an LG G4 for my face cams for a little bit, but the uh, the audio sync just would not work for it. I use both the LG G4 and my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 for 4K video for B-roll sometimes. It's not an easy question to answer. And the same thing kind of goes for microphones, although it's a little bit easier. Every once in a while I'm using the on-camera mic of, what, of whatever camera I'm using. Fairly rare. But otherwise, in my sit-down studio setup, I now use the Rode NTG2, which is a shotgun condenser microphone. It's freaking fantastic. Uh, for a little while there on this studio setup when I was standing up or sitting down, I used a lav mic. I have a couple different ones. I had a Audio-Technica little wired one. Uh, that one didn't work out so hot. I had a... I have a... I forgot the company name. It was an, I reviewed it though. It was a $99 wireless lav mic. It works out all right. But the main one I use is the Sennheiser AVX. And the specific lav mic is the MKE2, I believe, or either the ME2. I don't remember which. Again, I reviewed it. Link will be in the description below. Uh, but so, and I'm gonna start using that for on the go outdoors videos. And so in the studio right now, Rode NTG2 shotgun. Uh, when I'm out and about, it'll be the Sennheiser AVX wireless lav mic. 
hooked up to the Tascam DR40 audio recorder. And then when I'm at the desk, I use my RE20 Electro Voice microphone hooked up through my big audio processing rig, which again, I did a video on. In previous videos, I used the Rode Procaster as well. So I've used a lot of microphones. So depending on what video this question's being asked, the answer is drastically different. I do, I, I meant to mention this in like every episode, but I do have an FAQ page up on my website, which answers a lot of the what gear do I use questions. I'll link that in the description below as it has specific product links and things like that, which may help you along your way a little bit better. But so this answers why I use so many tabs and what gear I use for like basic audio video questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and I'll see you in the next one, which I'll be recording in approximately 50 seconds. <laughs>